what's up guys it's Cindy here welcome to my video and today we're taking a look at how to make a really awesome lower third on Android so as you can see I made this Twitter lower third and it looks really awesome so as always we are going to be using Adobe Photoshop touch if you guys don't have Adobe Photoshop touch the link is in the description below you can download it for free and the the size of this project we're going to be 1285 per 500 and if you guys would like to make it more higher we can do that but 1280 per 500 I think it's the perfect resolution for our lower third so let's go ahead and get started so you need to get your very own logo of your social media as you can see and just transform it and put it right over here on the left and once that's done you can go ahead and now just create a brand new empty layer by pressing on that uh, layers tab and hit on that plus button right over here and then hit on that empty layer and place it down below the logo of your very own social media and for the next step you need to go ahead and just choose the biology selection tool on the bottom left corner of the screen as you can see and make sure that this mod says plus so just go ahead and press on it until it says plus and make sure you also show the pointer right over here so it's going to be so it's going to make it more easier to work with or to create our design so we are going to create the shape of our uh, like lower third so we go ahead and just go diagonal up just like this and I'm going to go down and then I'm going to reconnect it just like this so now we have this selection right over here now for the next step you need to hit on that end sign right over here and fill this selection with the exact same color of your very own social media logo just like this and there we go we have the first design or the first uh, lower third thing so as you can see it looks really nice so for the next step you need to create a brand new empty layer and place it down below our design that we just created and create a place that you are going to put your name on so I'm going to create it just like this so that sounds pretty cool and there you go Okay, once you connect it, hit on that end sign and fill it with the exact same color, but make sure that you make it more darker. So as you can see, this looks really awesome. And I really love the way that it looks and stuff like that. If you guys would like to choose another color, you can just do that. So there we go, that looks nice. And I think we are ready to just go ahead and add the text into our layer third. So I recently made those text with a different font on Fonto. So Fonto is a really cool app that actually allow you to create a really awesome text. As you can see right over here, I'll leave a link in the description below for the tutorial if you guys would like to see how to make this just like this so as you can see I did put follow me on Facebook if you guys would like to choose another sentence go ahead and do it and for the the below one you can just go ahead and put your social media name I did put slash CNYT because my social media my Facebook social media link is Facebook slash CNYT just like this and also you can just go ahead and merge all the visible layers and you can add a drop shadow into it and you can just mess around with all of those effects or uh, options sorry to make it looks like that it is elevating and that's going to give it a more natural look into your youtube videos and there we go also make sure that when you go ahead and just save the the file make sure that the file format is always set to png so that way we will have a transparent background which is the thing that we are looking for and hit on ok and there we go once that's done, you need to head over to your very own video editor. I'm using KineMaster. If you guys would like to use this video editor, the link is in the description below. It's a free app. So as you can see right over here, I will add a brand new image layer. And that image layer is, of course, going to be our layer third that we, are, we just created using Adobe Photoshop Touch. Just like this. And as you can see, you can just go ahead and control the timing from here, how long it's going to be on your YouTube video. And of course, you can just transform it and put it wherever you want. I think I'm going to put it right over here because it will fit the video really well and the good thing about that you can add an in and out animation for the lower third which is quite important so for the in animation I suggest you the slide right and the timing is 0.4 and for the out animation slide left and as you can see the timing is 0.5 and there we have it we have our lower third we created and also we did set it up on our YouTube video it was really easy and I think it really looks really awesome I think I'm going to start to using those as a lower third on my youtube videos i think it looks really awesome so thank you guys so much for watching this video and if you guys enjoyed this video please be, make sure you go ahead and just drop a like down below i will appreciate it and also guys check my channel out because there is also amazing and daily videos in there subscribe to my channel if you didn't join me already and i'll see you guys tomorrow with another video peace <laughs>